So here is a Chinese evergreen that is overgrown. I received it from a very close friend. Um, it belonged to her mother who passed away. And I've been holding on to it for the last few years, just trying to make sure I keep it alive. Um, but today, what I think I'm gonna do, well, what I'm going to do is make cuttings of it and start the propagation process so that I can pot these up and give them to my friend and her family members. All right, so I'm starting with a clean pair of scissors. And I'm just gonna go through and cut these probably about maybe three or four inches below where all the leaves are coming out. Um, I do have one that I did a while back and it turned out pretty good. So that one turned out pretty good. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling confident about this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna cut it at an angle here. So you can see the length of that one. I might go a little longer on these since I'm gonna stick them in a base. I can always cut them shorter later. And I'll take off some of these brown leaves. rest of these, you can kind of see that these are the newer plants that are growing up from the old root stocks. So I think I will be a little more diligent and dump this out and see if I can get the roots as well. So I'm going to work on that next. So the next thing I'm going to try is to dump this out and separate the parts so that I can get some roots. I have no idea what to expect. This soil has been in here for years. I don't know what creepy crawlers might be inside of it. I just don't know. So that's why I brought it outside. So we'll see. Promising. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. No creepy crawlers yet. Oh wow. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. Get a better look here. So this soil is really light and the roots are not really as root bound as I thought it would be. I can reuse some of this soil, probably in my outdoor garden. I'm gonna give this plant some new soil. So I just wanna loosen this up and get to the roots of this. So look at that. So it's not even, I thought for sure this entire container was, was root bound, but it's not. I can easily tease these apart. Wow. Wow, look at that. 
So that I can plant immediately. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Wow. So I've taken one plant and just from these, I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, and these will definitely create, oh, there's one, seven. Look at that. And this will definitely shoot some new leaves off, I'm sure. That's eight, just from this. And I've already cut off several of these plants. I'm so excited right now. Potting soil, I'm gonna use a mixture of the Bacto Premium Potting Soil. I like to use a little bit of this, just a couple handfuls, just because this has really great draining properties. So I'll use a little bit of that. And of course, one of my favorite um, potting mixtures is the peat soil enhancer. I'm a big fan of peat soil enhancer. So this is a really fun project, a project that I've been putting off for several years to divide this plant. I'm just gonna rinse off each, each stem or stalk and just sit it in here until I start potting them up. So I'm just gonna take these roots and just kind of swish it around in this pot of water I have and get those roots nice and clean. I love gardening. This is like, I mean, it really is like being a kid again, exploring and finding new things and discovering new things about your world that you never paid attention to before. I'm so excited. I could probably put that in a smaller pot. Now for the really fun part, let's get these potted up and watered. Maybe about, maybe about here. Maybe a little more because I just want this piece. I want it to do like that so maybe I'll cut off a little more of that I'm new to this guys so it's all an experiment okay a little cushion here get all those roots in and then backfill Making sure not to cover up the very tip of that. I know I'm overfilling it a little bit at first, but I want, don't want it to rot. So I, I only want to have it to the level where it was coming out of that stalk. Maybe about there. And I'll water that and it'll settle a little bit. And we'll go from there.
I was getting ready to clean up and get rid of this soil and then I found one more. Look at that. So we'll go ahead and plant that bad boy up too. So I finally finished dividing the Chinese evergreen plant, um, the aglaonema, and I ended up with several plants that already have roots. I put two in that container, but I'm gonna count each one of these as one. So I have eight potted plants here. This one in the back doesn't have any leaves just yet, but I'm gonna test it out and see if it does get leaves. And then I have these cuttings, two here, three here, and two more back there. So that gives me seven cuttings and eight potted plants from that one big evergreen plant. I'm so excited to watch these get bigger and bigger each day. And I will keep you guys updated on the progress.